To make changes to the video feed, we have to extract this texture first. So in the camera, we can extract the texture here, and that makes camera texture. But it doesn't do anything until we apply it to something, so we need to add a canvas and then a rectangle. So in the focal distance, we'll add a canvas. And a canvas is similar to a null. It's an empty object, it doesn't render, but you can see here it fits right to the screen space. And you can change it to be world space up here, but for now we'll leave it at camera space and full screen. And we can't add the texture or a material to this because this is just invisible, it'll never render. But if we add a rectangle inside of here, now we can see something. So in the rectangle, let's go over to materials and create one. And by default, it's gray. If we double click here, we can change the texture to use this camera texture. And now you can see what's going on. This frame is a texture. And even though this is rectangular, it'll still fit to a squared rectangle. And we can click the rectangle and drag it to resize. Or over here, you can change it to fill the width and the height. So now you can see it's all the same, but it's a little darker than the actual video. If we turn this down and up, it looks like it's max brightness. But if we scoot it over, you can see this is a lot brighter than this. That's because this material is a standard and not flat. So it's using this light information to calculate the brightness. So if we turn off the lights, there's nothing. But a lot of times, you don't have to want to rely on the lights if you're just using a texture like this that you want to be full brightness. So if we change this to a flat material, now we have the exact same with or without this rectangle.